about earlier, right? Yeah, but he's playing Junk Aristocrats. He's added Desecration Demon to his Junk Aristocrats Which deck. is actually a throwback to the block Junk Aristocrats deck, which used Desecration, Desecration Demon to great effect. Um, particularly since it's so good with Valru Valras, or Valras. Mm -hmm. And then uh, his opponent, Alan Lee, is playing Stock Junt. All right, yeah, so that, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that block deck, what is it? It was it was more on the Varols, Desecration Demon, and I think Deadbridge Goliath sort of plan. Yeah. Um, this one's still playing the Demon, and, but otherwise playing it in that Aristocrat shell here with Blood Artist and Cartel Aristocrat. Yeah, basically, uh, instead of, De instead of uh, Zathrid and Necromancer, he has Desecration Demon for bigger, harder beats. All right, so they are in game three right now. Uh, Crawley has assembled a pretty decent board. He has that Desecration Demon, Right now, hitting pretty hard, but on top of that, he has his engine going, a Cartel Aristocrat, a Spirit Token, and now Skurs Dog High Priest that he's added to the board. Yeah, Skurs Dog High Priest, very good with Desecration Demon from getting the triggers, but also just fantastic with any of your own sack outlets like Cartel Aristocrat. Yeah, so Alan's going to be in this really awkward position when, the, you know, the if the Desecration Demon attacks, he can sack a creature to it, but he doesn't really want to, because if he doesn't, then Jeremy just gets a 5-5 five -five flyer. Well, he's going to get the 5-5 five -five flyer either way, because he can sack... Right. A creature to the cartel aristocrat and upgrade it, you know, like shorty, let me upgrade you style. Life being zombie and huntmaster the fells, usually a pretty respectable board against creature decks, but uh, these junk aristocrat decks hitting from very different angles with just giant bodies, which uh, you know black creatures so that the three one intimidate is not unblockable, um, <clears throat> creatures that are not easily huntmastered. The scourge dark high priest could be huntmastered. Uh, if it comes to that, but Jeremy seems to consistently have cards to play to make sure that it has to flip. Yeah, so Alan or not doesn't flip. Yeah, so Alan has a choice here. You know, he has a dreadboard looks like in his hand, but it seems uncertain if he wants to cast that as opposed to flipping the Huntmaster. Um, once again, as you said before, Desecration Demon has just really become a player in standard. I think in response to Jund to a certain degree, it's just it's really large. Yep. Yeah, we've seen this kind of thing before. I mean, Abyssal Persecutor was uh, was definitely decent against. Uh, some previous mid-range decks, particularly the ones that want to do three damage, yeah. you know, two or three damage to their creatures. Yeah, yeah. These, these four mana 6-6 six, six flyers with a drawback, still very good. Absolutely. So it looks like we're going to see a dread, a, another life fiend zombie out of Alan. He had an Olivia and a Dreadbore. He opts to go this route. He sees Tragic Slip, Cartel Aristocrat, and Tragic Slip. So two Tragic Slips. Interesting. That's, that's a lot of removal. By taking the Cartel Aristocrat, Jeremy doesn't he has have... To. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But by taking it, Jeremy didn't have, like, he, he loses that extra creature to swing with the demon and activate Skurstock High Priest. It's not going to matter here, though, as Alan chooses to Dreadbore the High Priest. So, at this point, Alan's got the board down to a spot where there's really only one thing that's beating him. The bad news is, it will beat him next turn if he doesn't solve <laughs> right. it. Um, the demon hitting just so hard. So I think Jeremy recognizes this. He's going to go ahead and send the team. That's seven in the air, which Alan can't block, so he will be dropping to five. Uh, question is if he wants to attempt to trade with Cartel Aristocrat. Uh, why not? I think, well, he knows if that trade happens, Jeremy will be able to double Tragic Slip. If he wants to, he can kill one or both of Valen's creatures. Yeah, but why not? Who cares? The tragic Slip's going to kill two creatures anyway, and the Cartel Aristocrat might as well trade with a creature. Right. It's not like this Huntmaster is ever flipping against somebody with two Tragic Slips. You can't take, afford to take that kind of damage, because if he takes all nine, he'll be at three, and then even if he answers the demon, he's just dead next turn to and any like, creature. And yeah, Cartel Aristocrat suddenly will become really scary. Yeah. Not any creature, I guess. Well, no, any creature, because he's got two tragic slips in hand. Yeah, it's unlike the Alan will be able to keep a flying blocker up. So we see... Yeah, Alan deciding on blocks here. It's really going to be about how much damage Jeremy can sneak across here. Uh, Jeremy's really fortunate that the Dread Boar went at Skurstock High Priest instead of at Desecration Demon. So Alan's going to have to find another answer to the 6-6 flyer. Well, if he had targeted the Demon, then he would have to both deal with the Skurstock High Priest and a 5-5 five -five each turn. So I think right. he, his, hand, you know, his, his hand was kind of forced. Well, to be fair, if he kills the Demon, Jeremy can't make a 5-5 five -five flyer unless he draws a creature. So he'd only have three creatures on the board. If he sacks one, then he can't tap three things. He has Tragic Slip. Okay, so we... Oh, right, because there's the, there's the, the X ones. Right, so you can tragic slip the... You're right, you can tragic slip life Bane zombie make a 5-5. Five five. Right, so and that's what I'm so saying. So his hand was forced. Yeah, you just had to right, kill Right, he can do priest. this anyway. He can just go life Bane... He could tragic slip a life Bane zombie, tragic slip hunt master if he wanted. I mean, he's not short on... Wow, Alan decides to take it, though. He takes all of the damage. Um, and now he looks like he has nothing but land. 
Yep, and then Jeremy, post-combat, cast a tragic slip on a life bane zombie to stop that Huntmaster from flipping. It does look like Alan has an Olivia Voldaren, mm. but... Interesting. That's actually a pretty big game. Unfortunately, Jeremy still has a tragic slip. Yeah, you can sack the spirit, tragic slip. Yeah, Alan's still in a really rough spot. Now, Olivia does at least kill the spirit and make it so that Alan doesn't die on board. Lives one more turn. To be fair, though, if he kills the spirit, that just turns on... I mean, the spirit's going to die anyway for, so that tragic slip can kill the Olivia, right? Uh, I suppose that's fair. I think it's a rel... I think it's just... The spirit is going to die. It doesn't matter if it dies from being sacked or not. Right. It's just, it's going to die, and so is the Olivia. Right. And then the cartel aristocrat is threatening uh, to be, you know, the cartel aristocrat combined with desecration demon puts Alan Lee on a very, very short clock. So there's the Olivia. It tries to shoot the spirit. Cartel aristocrat will give itself protection so that Olivia doesn't get a counter. With one mana up, Alan's going to pass the turn. And we do see Tragic Slip. The question is where it's going to go. I'm guessing Olivia. I'm guessing Olivia, and it is. So now Alan's going to have to make a sacrifice to the Desecration Demon. Yeah, the time has come for Desecration. Uh, as and, uh, any heavy metal aficionado and, would, and would be able to tell you. I think a game-winning draw here. Jeremy has drawn Blood Artist for the turn. Alan at three. I think because Alan has to tap something, right? He has to, if he has to, he has to sacrifice a creature to tap the demon. Jeremy can then sacrifice two more creatures. That should be three damage. Yep. Yep, I think, uh, I think we're down to a mish trigger type of situation as the out. Right. And this is game three. This is a deciding game between Jeremy Crawley's Junk Aristocrats deck and Alan Lee's Jun deck. It's really interesting. A lot of times I see, I see Blood Artists getting sided out in these removal spells when the, when the, control, the other deck is going overloaded on removal. But you see right here Blood Artist really making the difference. Lifebane Zombie taps the Desecration Demon. Jeremy swings with Cartel Aristocrat. Um, there's a block with Huntmaster. I think Jeremy's fine with letting them trade. And that's three damage. All right. So two games to one, Junk Aristocrats moves to 4-0 in the hands of Jeremy Crawley. Nice. Very, very nice. What do you think about the matchup in general? Who do you like, Junk Aristocrats or Jund? Like at the beginning, before you sit down. You know? Yeah, before I sit down. Um, typically I like Jund in the matchup. I feel like Junk Aristocrats is kind of this combo deck where it has, it has a, 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 like a fair number of cards that really want you to sacrifice creatures. Blood Artist, Scourge Dog, High Priest. It has Sacrifice Outlets. Uh, you know, it's Aristocrats. Uh, it's Varolzes, and then, you know, it has a couple of value creatures. So it kind of needs to have all these pieces to make it work, whereas I think Jund is...